At the entrance of a car factory, there are piles of steering wheels, tires, windshields, fenders, and other parts. At the exit, shiny new cars ready to drive away. How did those parts get put together to make a car? Imagine not being able to see the assembly line, or change it, or even control it. If that was the case, we would never be able to produce better cars. Before Ahmed Zawail, chemists were in that same situation. Chemists are scientists who make life-saving new medicines, develop new sources of energy, and invent materials to build smarter phones and more powerful laptops. Those products originate when chemical bonds form and glue one atom to another, and when bonds stretch and snap and break to reform in different ways. Chemists could see the starting materials for those reactions. They could see the finished products, but they could not see the assembly process. Seeing those events and understanding them gives scientists the ability to control chemical reactions, control them in ways that produce better products. These events were invisible because the elementary steps of chemical reactions happen very quickly, in femtoseconds. A femtosecond is fast. It's a millionth of a billionth of a second. Imagine a particle traveling at the speed of light, 700 million miles an hour. If that particle traveled for one femtosecond, it would not even get halfway across the width of a human hair. For centuries, everyone thought that seeing a chemical reaction at the molecular level was an impossible dream. But Ahmed Zawail, a scientist at the California Institute of Technology in Pasadena, didn't let that stop him. He won the 1999 Nobel Prize in Chemistry for proving them wrong. And Zawail just won the 2011 American Chemical Society Priestley Medal, the ACS's highest honor for his achievements in imaging chemical and biological events in both time and space. We have never seen chemical reactions before transforming from the initial reactants to the final product. As a matter of fact, as a student, we were taught that the area in between, which is called transition state, is a black box. We used to put a question mark uh, on no one, no one. And nobody, because it's fleeting. It's a very fleeting moment in the life of these molecules. So from a fundamental point of view, this was very important. Can you uncover this black box? Can you see what's inside in terms of understanding why reactions go to B and doesn't go to C? Zawail developed a technology known as ultra-fast motion imaging, using what is basically the world's fastest camera to see atoms doing their thing. Well, actually, first, we have to freeze them in time. So we take actually, just like you're doing with the camera right now, we take a frame by frame, and then we do a slow motion picture by having these frames all together at speed more than 30 frames per second so we can fool your eye and as such you can see a continuous uh, movie. For example, if you think about pharmaceuticals, if you think about all enzyme reactions, if you think about so many of the chemical reactions that actually are the basis of our life, we don't really understand fully why the yield the product that they yield. And so this is at the heart of chemistry and biology. Materials also, I mean, you can, even we have shown and we and others that you can influence the outcome. But all of this, the beauty of it in our attempt to understand the fundamentals and then you go to apply it in order to direct the course of chemical or biological change. Listen to those words in order to direct the course of chemical or biological change. That's why Zawail's scientific research, the research behind the Nobel, the Priestley, and as many other prizes, is so important. It's all about control, the control of chemical reactions. Yeah, I, th I think the key here is that you cannot control a process unless you understand it. That's the key. And so the whole field is based on the idea if we understand the behavior of atoms in the course of reaction, we will be able to control them. Since receiving the Nobel Prize, Dr. Zawail has developed a revolutionary method of imaging matter. It enables scientists to visualize objects not just in three dimensions, but in four dimensions. In doing so, it unveils motions that occur at the size scale of atoms and over time intervals as short as a femtosecond. Dr. Zawail named the new technique four-dimensional, or 4D, electron microscopy. 
It promises to have sweeping applications in medicine, electronics, and biological research. So Whale and other scientists predict that the research that won the Nobel Prize and the ACS Priestley Medal is leading to an era of laser-selective chemistry. It's an era in which chemists become like maestros, waving a baton to conduct a symphony orchestra. But chemists will use laser beams to orchestrate chemical reactions, manipulating chemical bonds. Under their direction, those reactions will produce the new medicines, new fuels, and new materials that will give people longer, healthier, and happier lives in a sustainable society.